Hey guys, Timster here with another video, and today I'm going to be doing a review and showing some gameplay from the T-34 Independence, 1776 for short. This thing looks awesome. It has the blue, red, and white, those vibrant colors, and it looks amazing on the battlefield. I have been called a clown, but that does not matter. Anyway guys, let's get into the stats and the gameplay. Hope you guys enjoy. Moving on to the T-34 Independence stats, they are indeed identical to the T-34 stats, except for a small bug where the protection is at 71% when it should be at 70%. Moving on to the protection of the tank, it is at 1,400 hit points, which is pretty bad for a heavy. I know the T-32 has 1,500 or something like that. The frontal hull armor is at 102 millimeters, while the side is a little weird. It does say it is at 76 millimeters, but that is only um, for the front side portion. The rear side portion is actually only 51 millimeters, which is a little upsetting and does make side scraping a little more challenging. As for the turret, it does have 279 millimeters of frontal armor on the mantlet of the turret. However, on the frontal portion of the actual turret, the orange part, it's only at 178 millimeters, which means that most tier 10s and 9s will be able to penetrate uh, the frontal turret if they aim their shot carefully. The sides, the yellow portions are 127 millimeters thick, which means that if you do not have it angled or faced the correct way, most tanks will be actually be able to penetrate that uh, side uh, turret portion. One interesting fact is that the turret has 203 millimeters at the rear, which is more than the sides. The command hatch is another weak spot of this tank. Overall, if people are taking shots in stressful situations, they will still bounce shots off this turret most of the time, and it is still quite hard to either get that command hatch or that uh, side frontal part of the turret. Moving on to the maneuverability of the tank, it weighs 65.74 tons, and it has a horsepower of 810. Combining those two makes this tank pretty slow, even though it does have a speed limit of 35 kilometers per hour. I rarely reach that speed unless I'm going downhill. I normally go about 20, 24 kilometers per hour uh, when I'm driving on a flat terrain. The traverse speed is 22 degrees per second, and the turret traverse speed is 18 degrees per second. In combination with the traverse speed, um, the turret can turn at 40 degrees per second, which is decent and does allow to counter those medium uh, circling tactics. While the maneuverability on this tank isn't great, the gun is what makes this tank a total beast. The 120mm T53A1 gun, which is at tier 9, has an average damage of 400, an average penetration of 248, and a rate of fire of 4 rounds per minute. The high damage per shot allows this tank to stay in cover until it has reloaded and then take its shot, which makes it a lot less vulnerable than let's say those medium tanks that have fast reloading guns and constantly need to be out in the open. I also want to mention that the high penetration value of this gun also allows it to penetrate most other tanks easily and effectively. So instead of using APCR a lot of the time, which you will need to do with, for example, the T-32, the T-34 can reliably use AP rounds and still constantly penetrate other higher tier tanks. This brings me to the next point, which is credit earning. This tank is a great credit earner, as you can see from the battle results, 74,000 credits in one battle from a little under 3,000 damage. And let's move on to the gameplay I'm about to show you. I have won two games out of five. I'm going to be doing a mission. Um, I have completed two other games and one, so I'm actually at four victories, not uh, two. But let's see if I can get this last victory in the T-34. 
You may have guessed the ending, otherwise I wouldn't be showing this video, but let's get on with it anyway. So I do show up, get a lucky shot at the Centurion before it completely gets obliterated, and I'm moving to this patch of grass here where the terrain is slightly elevated up in front, so the only thing they can shoot at is my turret. I am bouncing shots, which is a good thing, and I've just hit this Indian Panzer. This is when the Tiger comes up, and I know I'm in trouble, because that's not a very friendly looking gun. <laughs> yes, I do actually Amorak the guy before he can even shoot me. Imagine making your whole way across the map just to shoot this clown tank that I own, and then, and then getting Amorak'd. Quite, um, quite the surprise, but not that anything was going to go very well by doing that. Uh, it's just unfortunate that I Amorak'd him. So this IS-3 here is going to get finished off. So I turn around, getting ready to shoot these two tank destroyers here. And I'm like, well, isn't that a Hellcat? Yes, it is. So let's get that HG out. I do aim for the tank, and boom, there, there we go. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> and this T-55-2 is uh, finished off by my tiger friend. And now there's only KV-4 left, so overall I've had a great battle. Uh, we have won it, in case um, you hadn't realized yet. Uh, <laughs> all our tanks are remaining, and uh, it does show that this tank can carry a team, um, if you're angled, of course, you can uh, survive quite a long time. We have spotted the KV-4, which is uh, on, it was on vacation, but we have spotted it, uh, it was on a nice stroll through the woods, and it has found us, and is not looking too happy. <laughs> I have missed my first shot, uh, now it's aiming at me, but... Mm, I think you're gonna die before that, mate. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> Beautiful victory. I don't. Yep, we didn't lose one tank. So for a victory, there's a victory. And there we go. Win at all costs. Win five battles completed. I got a second mastery badge. Eighty-six thousand credits. Two thousand eight hundred sixty-five damage and 966 XP. Not bad for uh, our last battle there. It really does show what this tank can do. Surprisingly enough, I do actually uh, do over 2000 damage quite consistently with this tank, so it is a really good credit earner. And notice that I didn't use any APCR that whole battle. If you still think that uh, it has a bad penetration value, well, take a look at this.